John says SharePoint 2019. We had has a question about SharePoint 2019. We have created a connector app. We have a client ID and secret. Also the app identifier, but we need to find out more information about token endpoint and resource. This is to connect a building information system to SharePoint. Documentation is mainly about online. We have done this previously without an issue. We're struggling with, with on-premise missing yeah. s there john thanks in anticipation um well i have SharePoint one thing on yeah first off the top um that client id in secret you're going to want to move away from that because microsoft has deprecated that in favor of an azure app principle you still can create a you know a secret and uh associate that with an app principle but you're going to want to move to that flow and maybe that this is i don't know when this question was asked uh oh pre-december it's a bit older question was posted but okay but yeah that that's still the case um so if you go out and you look at um i would suggest googling something like replacement for sharepoint client id and secret you will probably get a hit yeah, I believe uh, if you look up, if you add high trust to it, you will get a lot more information around that. Don't ask me why, but most of the documents and there are even a couple of links out here, Christian, I would definitely like we should supply. Yep. But high trust configuration is in a lot of the terminology in any of the blogs and articles around this. Yeah, that's going to be as that's going to be. High trust is that just describes the server to server relationship. Right. Um, so it becomes more of a cert swap and things like that. And that that's a one time uh, establishment and then SharePoint and the system talk back and forth without problems. Yeah. Um, there it looks like they're looking for a, uh, you know, solution to the client ID and secret. I would say, you know, if you do that. SharePoint replacing an expired client secret in the SharePoint add-in. Uh, a lot of that's going to be related. I'll just drop this. And I know we're not talking about a SharePoint add-in because those are deprecated too. Right. Um, but everything that has to do with auth that would have happened in an SPA is uh, going to apply to whatever system you're trying to work with. But I believe you'll just have to set up uh, an app ID in Azure. Um, generate a secret for it, and then you can still assign that Azure app ID rights and privileges in SharePoint. So if your system is calling into SharePoint, that's when you would need it. If it's going outbound, it's going to be dictated by the host system. So whatever that uh, integration point is you're trying to connect. Now, I'll drop in this the link case, in a Pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, in this case, they may not have Azure though, right? Because they're saying they're on-prem. Uh, good point, Stacy. Very good point. Yeah, I, I the um. So that situation, as far as I've never even really considered on-prem SharePoint in the new uh, authentication ecosystem. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. A lot to think about there. Yeah, there's there seems to be a decent amount of information. I feel like it's going to be weeding through and using the right um, search terms to get what they're looking for. Um, but there's, yeah. but yeah, I mean there is stuff another, out there. I feel it comes to the search terms. Another one that you'll want to search on is server to server high trust. Yep. S two S. Um. Basically, that's just, you know linking the SharePoint server with the uh, system you're trying to interact with, um, and that's where you do the certificate swap. It's the same high trust that Stacy mentioned uh, earlier, but server to server high trust will direct you more towards SharePoint related stuff because I believe SharePoint, you know, it's not S2S is not used nearly as much outside the SharePoint realm. Right. And you know, which which case there, you, can, you can always ask chat GPT and cook about it, right? Yeah. Solves all the problems. That's right. <laughs>
and forty percent of another one. Forty percent of the time, it's correct. One hundred percent of the time. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so creating high trust SharePoint add-ins. I'll also drop this link in there. It was at the top of the stack when I searched for service server high trust SharePoint. Yeah, a lot of that stuff, especially going back to on prem, they've just changed some of the terminology, which makes it harder to find the right blogs. And it's just learning what those new keywords are that they're using. So. Yeah, you're going to need to know quite a bit about Active Directory and maybe even ADFS um, yeah. for this, because you know OAuth it's the three way handshake with Microsoft as the third leg um, when you're interacting for um, permissions. But server to server high trust, naturally, you're only using two systems which you can configure and set up yourself. So um, this would be a good article to take a look at. <clears throat>